say. It's uh, what a thrill. I've got my notes here. I this is this is such a momentous occasion for Lawson's finest for myself. I'm Sean Lawson. Uh, my wife Karen is hiding around here somewhere. My daughter Jade there on the corner of the building. Come on out here if you want. But thank you all for coming out today. Uh, it's really yeah. Woohoo! Woo You guys are the ones that uh, we owe one of the biggest thank yous to. There are too many people to thank today, so if I don't mention you specifically, it's because there's way too many people to thank uh, that help make it possible for us to get to this place. It's hard to believe that we started uh, over nine years ago in a little building next to my house where I was homebrewing, and who would, who would have thunk it that it turned into this? <laughs> So, uh, a big thank you to all of our fans out there uh, that are here today and across New England. You thirsty customers are what keeps us going every day. Um, when, when, when Karen and I launched this business in 2008, we had, we had big dreams for what might happen, but we never really had any idea that it would turn into uh, a phenomenon. It's, it's gained a life of its own. It's pretty amazing. And it's been, uh, it's been truly a joy to be uh, part of the Vermont brewing community at a time when we've really established uh, Vermont as uh, the premier beer destination in the world. <laughs> and, uh, so, and so with that, uh, what we're hoping to do here with our new venture in Waitsfield, Vermont, uh, with the warehouse behind us will become the production facility. Uh, the building in the front will be completely rebuilt and turned into a beautiful timber frame tap room beer hall with a retail store and our offices attached. And it's a very, very exciting time for us. We're so thrilled to be able to do it right here in the Mad River Valley. We're, we wouldn't, wouldn't want to do it anywhere else. We really appreciate the opportunity uh, to do something positive and have a real impact here in the Mad River Valley. We'll be creating more than 20 new jobs here and we're hoping that the draw of uh, beer fans and tourists that we draw here to Waitsfield uh, has a really positive impact on all the local businesses that are here and our friends and the families uh, that depend on um, tourism and visitors for, for their livelihood. And, and to support all the local makers, like the food makers that we'll feature in our tap room, uh, to be a part of that fabric here in the Mad River Valley, it's, we're, we're really honored. And I want you guys to, to think big. We all, it all starts small, and think big, follow your dreams. Uh, when you work hard and persevere, uh, almost anything is possible. <laughs> And so, it's really a great honor for me to, to introduce uh, the governor of Vermont, Phil Scott. Thank you for being here. Well, thank you very much, Sean, and congratulations to both you and Karen for this uh, great venture here. Uh, you, things have changed a lot since when you started in your garage not too many years ago, but before that, uh, it was just a... Uh, a hobby for you, as I as I understand, Indeed. you were working for the state in the uh, Agency of Natural Resources, a forester yes. as well. Yeah. So it's uh, great to have a state employee stepping up and doing great things. Uh, you know, I never had so many people. We have a great team in Montpelier. We built a great staff, but I've never had so many people offer to come help me as I did this afternoon. They didn't think I could handle a groundbreaking. Of course, uh, when you have a, a Friday afternoon uh, coming in a beautiful afternoon, uh, coming to break ground for a new brewery in Vermont, uh, that is, uh, that's really good news. So uh, I, uh, I wanted just to lay out some of what we're trying to do in Vermont. And Sean and Karen are a great part of that. This is uh, significant. The, the, the craft brewing uh, that we're doing here in Vermont is no small industry. It's about $375 million at this point, and uh, it's getting towards, it's not far from being about accounting for 2,000 jobs as well. Uh, so this is significant. If we want to uh, make Vermont more affordable and grow the economy, uh, we all have to think about think big, just as Sean and Karen did. 
So I, uh, I really want to thank them for choosing Vermont to come back home in some respects and uh, set up shop here uh, because Vermont's a beautiful place uh, to do business. We can both we can live, work, and play here, and uh, Sean's an example of doing all three. So again, congratulations. Thank you very much, and uh, look forward. You know, there's one thing when you're, uh, when you're talking to a crowd around noontime, and you know you're standing between them and food, <laughs> but to stand on a Friday afternoon <laughs> and standing in between them and beer, um, that's quite another problem. So I'm going to stop right now. And uh, again, thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Well, I have uh, I have one more one more speaker before we break out the golden shovels, uh, and I'd like to uh, thank uh, and welcome a uh, local local business leader and a huge supporter of the local community here, uh, John Jameson. Thanks, John. Uh, I'm really standing in for uh, Josh Schwartz today from the Mad River Valley. Uh, planning district and he was probably going to give a huge long list of uh, uh, wonky uh, facts and figures that uh, I'm going to keep as short as possible as, uh, as the governor mentioned. Um, you know this is a classic Mad River Valley story. This is, this is a, a guy in his garage with a huge passion that turned it into this fantastic business that has a national uh, name and calling and, 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 and a lot of Folks came before him, including uh, some people will remember or won't. Merrill Boot started in Waitsfield. Uh, Mad River Canoe. We have Mad River Glen that draws people from all over. Sugarbush, Vermont Castings, Northern Power. Um, you know, this is just another another business in that long line of, of great of great great businesses. Uh, a friend of mine is visiting from Bozeman this week, and uh, she lived here about 25 years ago. And she says to me, you know, the best thing I love about, the thing I love most about the Matter of Valley is it never changes. And I said, yeah, well, that also makes it kind of a hard place to make a living. But um, I reflected further upon her statement and kind of, you know, took a different bent on it. You know, we have uh, the most recent opening of the Mad River Taste. Um, we've got a revitalized Chamber of Commerce. We've got projects at the local church that revitalize it. There's a library re revitalization coming. Uh, we have our covered bridge just got fixed up. We've got a pocket park. We've got a Main Street in Warren that's just, just been upgraded. We've got new chairlifts up at both uh, mountains at Sugarbush. Uh, the, the Mad River Barn has been revitalized. The folks at the, at the Hideaway have done a great job in bringing that property back. There's a lot of time and energy and money going back into the community and, and Sean is just going to give us another boost in that direction. Sean, to sum it up, um, we're proud of you and we're grateful. Um, we're proud of you and the team uh, for what you've grown here. Uh, we're proud uh, as a community to be part of your brand and, and to, be, to have you as part of our terroir, as, as Robin mentions. Um, we're, we're thankful as well. We're thankful uh, to you for repurposing a tired property um, for being a model to the valley on how to make community wastewater work. Uh, we're proud uh, that you're bringing jobs to the valley, especially bringing the Greenwoods back from New Jersey and, and to give Chuck Derrick his dream job. <laughs> um, we, um, we're thankful uh, basically and, and most of all uh, for your respectful and purposeful and deliberate pr planning process. Your neighbors are happy. It's hard to do things in this valley and, and keep everybody with a smile on their face. We, we really appreciate it. But I'd like everybody that has a beverage and, and everybody who doesn't um, to uh, raise your fist. And uh, we'd like to toast to your continued success. Cheers! Cheers. Thank you. Awesome. Well, thank you again, everybody, for being here. And with that, we are going to break ground, so to speak. So uh, we're gonna we're just gonna stick a couple golden shovels in the ground for the photo shoot. So stick around. Phineas Gage is going to be playing shortly. There's draft beer inside the warehouse uh, for sampling and for full pours. The bottle sale and. Uh,
Um, cans of the Sip of Sunshine and Super Session are available over at the back end of the truck. And, uh, and, and thank you again, everybody, for, for coming out today. Anybody want to do this? I already started a spot for it.